If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 What is going on guys, AJ Good here at the House of Masks. I got a busy Monday going on right now. As you can see, we've got all these packages behind me. That's for Mailbox Monday, which you're actually gonna see before this video, but I just couldn't wait to open this. I'm gonna open it now and probably upload it tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So, we're gonna get right into this. This is a box from Joey Romero. He recently did a paint job on one of my Iowa Clown Blanks from Walter QP, and this might be my favorite one yet out of all time that he's done for anybody. I really, really love this, super excited. So as you guys can probably guess, I gave him very, very specific details. I usually go off of one image or one very particular look that a mask had, and it was no different with this one. We went straight off of an interview, a very specific like OzFest 2001 interview during the Iowa cycle. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about right here so you can see it. Um, not the best quality, very, very dark, uh, pixelated, so he didn't have a whole lot to work with, and I think he killed this paint job, especially from the photos that I've seen. So we're going to open it now and take a look at it and see what we got. Look at that. Bloody, bloody. I was super, super hesitant about putting perma blood on there because I'm not really into displaying with eyes or with hair or whatever. I just want to display the mask how the mask was, but I'm very, very glad that we went with blood and it just looks fucking awesome. Like, hands down my favorite version of Clown's Mask at this moment. And it was something that I thought about for a while. I almost had Brandon do it, almost had Holiday do it, but this is just the winner. I'm glad that I waited. I'm very, very happy with this, so. So I'm probably gonna take this outside and give you some outside natural lighting shots because for some reason the white paint is appearing blue to me. I don't know if it looks like that to you guys or if it's just the camera or what, but I am gonna take this outside and show you some close-ups real quick. So here it is outside in the sunlight. As you can see, we've got the blood that just really looks like it's wet like Clown did before shows or for interviews and stuff. All right, so here it is on display with the other two Walter Iowas, both painted by Joey Romero, and with my other Iowas by Holiday and Brandon Murphy. Some close-ups indoors here. Definitely my favorite addition to this collection so far, as far as Iowa clowns go, although I love all of them. So I've said it before in a million other videos. Both of these guys are amazing dudes. Very, very helpful. I'm very thankful for both of them. If you guys would like to hit up either one of them to get something like this done, feel free to. I'm gonna add all of their information down below in the description. The mask is sculpted by Walter QP. Incredible sculptor. I love pretty much all of his work. He did the J's that I'm in love with. Obviously these Iowa clowns. He's got a couple other things like Papa's and other stuff that I will be doing unboxing videos on. Cannot wait for those. Joey, an amazingly talented dude, multi-talented. He does photography, super good at that. Some of the most recognizable mask photography on the internet for sure. Obviously he's an awesome painter. He can convert masks and he just has this creepy way of, of going about it. I don't know how he does it every single time. So if you guys want to check either one of those guys out, all of their information is going to be down below. I definitely appreciate both of you guys hooking me up. So thank you so much. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you later.